Sometimes you need to weld metal together and sometimes you need to cut it apart. Plasma cutting is a process that cuts through electrically conductive materials by means of an accelerated jet of hot plasma. The basic principle is that the arc formed between the electrode and the workpiece is constricted by a fine bore copper nozzle, thus forming a complete electrical circuit back to the plasma cutter via ground clamp. The jet can reach temperatures of up to 22,000 degrees Celsius. In comparison, an oxyacetylene flame is approximately 3,400 degrees Celsius. Plasma is commonly known as the fourth matter of state, the first being solid, then liquid, gas, and then plasma. Each matter changes from one state to another through the introduction of heat. Plasma looks and behaves like a high temperature gas, but with an important difference, it conducts electricity and cuts any electrically conductive metal. The plasma arc results from electrically heating compressed air to a very high temperature. This ionizes its atoms and enables them to conduct electricity. The air is forced through the swirl ring. It is then ionized by the electrical arc from the electrode, turning into plasma, which flows from the torch to the workpiece. As electricity from the cutting torch travels down the plasma, it delivers sufficient heat to melt through the workpiece. At the same time, much of the high velocity plasma and compressed gas blow the hot molten metal away, thereby separating or cutting through the workpiece. The plasma torch has a safety trigger that needs to be released before you are able to start the arc. When the trigger is squeezed, the power supply produces a DC current that flows through this connection and also initiates the plasma gas flow. The DC current flow then switches from electrode to nozzle to a path between the electrode and the workpiece. This current and airflow continues until the trigger is released. Plasma cutters are used to perform cutting and gouging operations with the average 240 volt handheld system capable of cutting metal thicknesses of up to 10 to 15 millimeters and larger 415 volt machines cutting upwards of 30 mils. Plasma typically requires a source of compressed air and a substantial amount of electrical power. Ensure your air supply is clean and has no water vapor as this can lead to poor airflow and an unstable plasma arc. Also refer to your plasma manual for correct airflow rates and pressures. Oxyfuel torches have long been a popular choice for cutting metal on a construction site or in the field. However, technological advancements are making plasma a more affordable and portable option than ever before, with the features of not having to buy or hire gas bottles and transporting these from site to site. One of plasma's greatest advantages is its ability to cut non-ferrous metals, such as aluminium, stainless steel and cast iron, materials that are becoming more common in many applications. Speed and precision cutting are also a benefit of plasma, which typically cuts with minimal slag and can provide smooth cuts with a narrow slit or notch, known as a kerf. Plasma does not require the metal to be preheated before cutting, which saves time, and plasma cutters also outperform oxy fuel torches when cutting stacked materials. Faster speeds can be achieved on thinner metal with plasma, with minimal or no metal distortion. Also, plasma systems are relatively simple to use compared to oxy fuel systems with the benefit of minimal cleanup. <laughs>